to like fix this. What's going on you guys? How are you? If you don't know me, my name is Carrie. I'm a 20 something year old content creator in Chicago. And today I am coming at you with my new series, Streetwear Steals, where I show you guys where to get the streetwear essentials for an affordable price. Do you guys see Luna? So me and my special guest Luna, if you guys don't know, Luna is obviously my dog, she's my Frenchie. She's gonna hang out with us today. She's also excited about this. But I was super excited when I came up with the idea to show you guys affordable options to get the perfect streetwear look. If you guys know me personally, you know I weirdly do not like spending a lot of money on clothes. It's not something I love. I just like to find affordable options for things and not shell out a ton of money because like, we're in a pandemic. No one has a ton of money to be spending right now anyway. So I thought I would get this kicked off with episode one. I'm so thirsty. My water intake has been like trash lately. All right, so first we're gonna, all right, so first we're gonna start off with the basic sweat. You can get sweatpants from Fear of God, from Talentless, from all these expensive brands, and I will say they're great. I do have a few pairs myself. I'm not here to shit on everybody, but at the end of the day, is $100 for a pair of sweatpants a little crazy? It is. And if you're getting your sweatpants from Pretty Little Thing, you guys also know that they're all Fruit of the Loom. They're just, everybody gets them from Fruit of the Loom. So, my suggestion, I literally just got these out of the dryer, is to run, don't walk to your local Walmart and get the, let me see, just the Fruit of the Loom men's sweatpants. They're in the men's section and they just have like rows of, they have sweatpants, they have hoodies, they have crew necks, and I, maybe they even have shorts, but these are what I swear by. I actually bleached these sweatpants um, like I feel like me and everybody else in the world was bleaching, but it's just like a good pair of sweats and I just get a size medium and they fit oversized and then same with the hoodies. Again, this like might be super basic to people, but I feel like people kind of like overlook going to Walmart and getting just basics because then you can layer it and add jewelry and things like that to make it look super elevated. So this is the hoodie that I bleached. Everybody always thinks this is like a crazy expensive exclusive hoodie. Like you guys, it's a black hoodie. And then I went in my shower with bleach, spritzed it down, let it sit for a few hours, washed it and we're good. So again, they're super good quality and a lot of the, ugh, my ears literally bleeding. Again, these are super good quality. And at the end of the day, whenever you're layering or able to elevate something as basic as a hoodie, like no one's ever gonna know that you got these from Walmart. So to show you guys how I would style these, I'm gonna pop up a few like inspiration pics and pictures that I actually myself have styled them in. But if you have a hoodie, if you throw on like a long coat, if you put some like cool jewelry, excuse me, or just, I'm trying to think of like other ways you can style. There's just so many ways you can style a hoodie. You can even crop it and wear like the matching sweats and then wear like high Nike sh socks, have it like the sweats and then the socks. Do you know what I mean? Do you guys know what I mean? And then I have a cool pair of tennis shoes. Like you guys can totally make these look so elevated, so stylish. And I think the hoodies, I wanna say are eight and I think the sweatpants are maybe six or maybe that's reversed, but you can get the set for under $15. Are you kidding? Get every color. Get every color. I have navy, black, gray, all that good stuff. So that is my number one tip for you guys. And again, they do sell out at Walmart. Like I feel like this is gonna be a very popular thing to do is they do sell out at Walmart. And if you guys wanna take these sweats to another level, comment down below and I will show you how you guys can DIY these things and make them go crazy because I got some crazy sweats that people think I got from somewhere else, but I didn't. We're just, we're not gonna go into that. All right, next we're gonna talk about accessories. Um, I wear a lot of tennis shoes. I think everybody knows, like I love shoes, I love tennis shoes, I love things like that. And whenever you get, get a pair of Jordans, they do come with different laces. Doug Harry, like everybody knows that. But I actually went on Amazon and purchased different colored laces. Wow, that was like really hard to come out of my mouth. But I went on and purchased different colored laces. So I got this like brownish color. 
Um, and I'll link everything down below so you guys can get exactly what I got. I think these are starting at like $2. It depends on the link. If you have um, like Jordans, I believe, I'll throw it up here what size you need. I believe you need the 70 or 72 inch strings. And then if you have like Jordan 1 Lows or Dunks, you can do the 52 inch, which seems like way longer than you would think. But I did get different colors, so I thought these would look good in like my mochas, um, my Travis ones, even though those, those come with so many different strings. But if you don't have like the Travis one pink shoe strings, you can get them on Amazon, throw them in your mochas, and it totally changes the style. Or another really good combo I love are the Lucky Greens with red laces. <sighs> so good. Or even like the Midnight Navies. What did those come with? Let's come with white and maybe black like just throw in a different color and i feel like it totally changes the look of the shoe and again these are from amazon super quick shipping and i think they are like seven dollars for two laces like very easy very simple again i feel like what's so cool about streetwear is you can make small minimal changes to things and i feel like it changes the whole look and the whole like feel of the outfit you know what i mean you know what i mean all right, sticking with accessories, I love jewelry. I used to not wear a ton of jewelry. I used to be like, I'm too lazy. But adding jewelry to an outfit, again, changes the whole vibe, changes the whole look. So I wear the same rings every single day. You guys probably know. Um, but I do kind of have a mix. I don't. I, I was going to say I do have a mixture, but I don't. Um, so I always wear my two Cartiers stacked. I have the yellow gold and the white gold. I have my Tiffany Love. I have my Tiffany T. And then this guy is from Amazon. I think it was like, that was inappropriate. I'm sorry. Um, it was $12. It's iconic. And that is where I'm going to just bring you guys in to my Amazon jewelry finds. Um, so again, I like to kind of mix ex like high end and just like, I don't want to say low end, but like way more affordable pieces. My neighbor is being loud as hell. Um, so on Amazon, I just try to get like basic things that I'm able to layer. So that is where it brings me to this chain. And you can find a lot of good chains and stuff on Amazon. I personally just like yellow gold a lot. So I got the yellow gold, yellow gold. I think I also have this in silver. Um, but yeah, like just going on Amazon and getting like just basic, like a chunky chain. Um... I also have it in like a bracelet style just going on and getting like little things like this I feel like again people overlook and don't really think you guys see Luna <laughs> people overlook and don't really think about like going on Amazon and just getting like costume jewelry I don't think it's the end of the world I think it's such a smart idea I don't know again may seem basic but I didn't think of it so whatever Oh, and then I'll also show you my earrings. I forgot that. Um, same with earrings. I didn't really like to experiment with earrings. I have a ton of piercings. You guys probably have no idea. I think I have 13 in this year, but like I don't wear them all. Um, so I just like to get packs of earrings. I'll again link everything that I personally have down below so you guys can get them. But I did get a pack of earrings that has like just hoops like this. And then I love just wearing like hoops and then kind of layering different like sizes of hoops and like dangly earrings i think that's really cute um so this is definitely a good find and again no one's gonna like question you and be like what care to gold is that what care to gold is that like no one cares people could like this is heavy and people are probably like oh my god she's got a fat chain on like work smarter not harder kids and then lastly, where's my other thing? Lastly, I think this is like one of my favorite hacks. If you guys like to layer your necklaces and chains like I do, you need this. Um, so I'll just show you guys. The necklaces that I wear pretty much every single day is my Tiffany T Smile. I'm gonna preface or like give a disclaimer. I worked at Tiffany, that's why I have all the Tiffany expensive pieces. I work there, I got the discount. I wouldn't have it otherwise. I just want to throw that out there um and then i just have this little diamond necklace oh my boyfriend got this for me how cute is that um and then i also have this gold necklace here um fun fact not that anybody asked but my parents 
my grandparents and I, and my parents and I, we went to Alaska and I actually like got to mine this gold in Alaska and then they put it in a necklace for me, which is like super sentimental. Just like a total side tangent, but I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so if you guys like to layer your necklaces, you need one, uh oh. Uh-oh, I fucked it up. Oh, no, I didn't. You need one of these. So this is something that you are able, let me put my hand up. Let's focus it, beauty blogger. So you are able to clasp everything on one side and then on the other side it has the clasps. So you're able to have all your necklaces on here without them getting tangled. And then what you do is when I put them on every morning, because I, I don't sleep in my necklaces unless like I forget to. You're able to just put it on. Boom. 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 So the pack I got came with actually a ton. So it has, um, I'll link, again, I keep saying this. I'll link everything. So the one I got actually comes with like different sizes. So you have like, if you are more into like silver jewelry, you can get the silver and then this one has four little areas. But if you want something shorter, you can get just like the little guy that has two. Or if you wanna wear six chains and go crazy, you can put both of these. Um, but this is definitely my favorite little guy. Like I love these, I don't know. Um, Cause I would wear my chains all the time and then they would always get tan tangled and like I don't know, replacing chains is annoying. So it came in just this little pack, and as you can see, it comes with a bunch. And I think this is one of my favorite finds so far, which I say about like everything. But yeah. So that actually concludes episode one of the series. I have so many ideas for you guys, but I didn't want to throw everything out at first. So you guys are going to have to subscribe and come back for my next episode. Should I call them episodes? Um, leave a comment down below of like what you guys want to see or like what you're hoping to find like a dupe of or a more of affordable option of. And I'll do my best to try to find it and then put it in the next episode for you guys because like sometimes I need ideas too. And it's I'd always want to know what other people are into and things like that. Wow, my hair is um, messed up there. Um, so yeah, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. We just hit 350 subscribers, which is crazy because I actually like just started taking YouTube seriously, I think two months ago. So I'm super excited about that. I'm so excited to see where everything goes. Um, 2021 is going to be crazy. I want, I have so many ideas for you guys. I have so many ideas. Um, make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram. I'm super, super active on there. You guys can always see what I'm posting, what I'm doing, like kiss of the day, things like that. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Deuces.